What's good people? It's Lewis or Bratz and I am back with another episode of the Future Bounce Brooks tutorial. This is the final episode. Uh, today we're going to be doing the drums and effects in one video just so it's easier to watch because no one really wants to watch effects in a video. So that's what we're doing today. Before we get started I'd like to give a nice little shout out to uh, this channel on screen. I used, um, it's called the Fusion Brook Sample Pack for Silent One and you get like drum samples and stuff. I mainly use that for the leads and the chords. So I just wanted to give this person a nice little shout out. Check it out. I'll put a link in the description and in the comment section below. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So like I said, we're doing the drums today. Uh, for those people that have forgot, this is what we finished on last episode. We've done the chords, so this is what we've got so far. So yeah, that's what we've got so far. Like I said, we're doing the drums today. Uh, you see the drums on the side here, that's what I'm gonna be using. So we've got a Brooks kick. As you can hear, there's a bit of like noise and sounds in this kick. Um, so I'm pretty sure this was just cut from one of these songs in the intro. But like I said, uh, these, all these drums are from the uh, Brooks user sample pack that I've mentioned before at the beginning of the video. I'm just going to drag them all in now quick. So we got a kick drum, we have a tom, a ride, a snap that you don't, we, might not, we probably won't use, a clap, and that's what we use so far. If we need any more, we'll drag them in. But yeah, we'll start with a kick drum. I'm going to add, we're going to make these all, we're going to make the kick drum red. And the rest of the drums orange, that's how I organize my sounds. And then we're gonna add them to the mixer, do a bit of processing. And then we'll go from there. So to add multiple channels to a mixer at once, make sure all the green lights, right click each green light to have selected ones. Right click them all, go to the channel, right click channel route in. Route selected channel starting from this track. And you see what they all added there. Yeah, this is the, uh, the kick drum. Like I said, you can hear some sort of sounds in this kick, but you don't really hear it in the uh, in the actual track when it's playing. It's impossible to hear. There's too many sounds going on over it, but it is a nice Brooks kick. It is the Brooks sound. So if you if you want the Brooks sound, go with this kick. With processing wise, we don't really need to do too much. We're just going to do an EQ boost to high end to give a bit more attack and click. And a tiny bit of low end to give it a bit more sub. And just for that so far, we're gonna leave the kick with that. Like I said before in my previous videos, highlight a sample by holding control and drag, hold control B, and paste it to the next bar. Next we're gonna work on the rhythm. So a nice little tip for you. I'm gonna duplicate the kick drum, make it as short as possible so it's nice and snappy. And then we're going to add this to uh, the mixer as a, on a separate channel. And what we're going to do, we're going to call this Brooks Kick Tom. And what we're going to do is add an EQ again, but we're going to cut the low end out. Like that. And we're going to turn it down. And even though it's the same sample, to the ear it sounds like a, a different sample. And what we're going to use a Tom here. Shorten the sample down. Do the same thing, cut a bit of the low end out. Bit, bit punchy there. Like that. And what we're gonna do for the first two bars, it's gonna sound like this. So we want the uh, kick and the tom to be at the same volume level. This is hitting at just over nine, and this is hitting at just over nine as well, so we're good. And we want this section here to play every two bars. Drag that forward again, there we go. 
Now we're going to move into the clap. This is a pre-shifted clap. So instead of just adding it straight onto the on beat like that, you want to see this little bit here. We're going to drag that just over the bar so it hits just before the two beat. Pre-shifted claps are nice because it gives it a nice little swing to it because it doesn't hit directly on beat. Let's copy this over. And turn it down. That sounds like this. Again, don't really need that much processing. The samples sound good, really. Just touch it up a little bit, clean it up a tiny bit, and with the kick, it sounds like this. Then we're good to go. Next, we're gonna add the ride. We're gonna shorten this down again. And then we'll do a nice little technique. So it's gonna hit on the, the two and the four. What we're gonna do is create a unique reverse to sample and it's going to sweep in so what we're going to do is we're going to turn down the out turn up the in a bit and turn this down turn the right down Yeah, we want to make this a bit more snappy, so just turn it up. There we go. We also want to side chain this because it's interfering with the kick. So we want to side chain just a little bit. So. That's the snap. We're going to leave that for now because that's usually using a break. We don't really use that in the drop. And let's turn on the side chain and then we're going to see. Oh, wait, also, I forgot to uh, mention, I completely forgot to add the side chain last episode for the chords. So we're just going to add that now. We want the same side chain for the leads. So the leads we're using free punch at 100%. So we're going to use the same preset like that. And as you can see, I've also bounced out the side chain lead as well. And then, yep, yeah, we're going to turn the chords on. Turn the side chain on for the bass. And then we can make adjustments to the drum levels afterwards. So let's see what it sounds like. I also forgot to turn on the sub side chain for the sub, that's why it sounded a little weird then. Let's listen again. There we go. I want the kick to punch through just a little bit more, so we might change the, uh, the side chain of the chords to match the bass. So on the, on the bass we are using the classic chain at 100, so let's try that instead, see what that sounds like. We also want to add a bit more hiss because we're actually losing that nice hissy high end on the clap. Uh, so in the first eight bars, we're just going to have the simple kick clap ride. And then in the second half, we're going to use um, a top loop maybe, maybe add some open hats just to... Uh, Give it a bit more rhythm, so let's copy this over to another eight bars. We're going to turn this off now because we don't really need that. And yeah, let's find a nice open hat. So yeah, we're going to can use this top loop. We also want, there we go, we want a nice ride, another ride to play continuously out in the second eight bars because. You want the uh, 
drums and the whole track to keep moving. I'm going to name this Ride 2, make it orange, I'll name this Open Hat Top Loop. I add these both to the mixer and let's see what it sounds like. Also going to add a nice stereo shaper on this one. Delay the speakers, make it nice and wide. And then now we're going to add the open hat. Sounding good. Uh, it sounds a bit plain at the moment because there's not a lot of there's no effects or no white noise going on. Effects really fill out the mix, but it's sounding good so far. So I think we're going to leave that for the drums for the moment. If we need to make any changes, we will. I'm thinking about adding another clap to so fatten up the clap because it sounds a bit plain at the moment, a bit empty. Yeah, I also heard this sample here, gated noise, so I think what we might do is get rid of the first kick on the second half. And introduce these two halves by adding this nice gated noise, see what this sounds like. Yeah, I like the sound of that. This sounds more like an effect, so we'll make it a, a lighter orange. And this seems a bit long, so we're going to turn down, yeah, take it down like that. And this is going to hit every eight bars. Also, I usually like to sidechain, similar to the drums, I like to sidechain the white noise just a little bit. And I also like having a crash playing every four bars, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the splice folder. And we're going to use the... Nicky Romero protocol sample. There's a lovely crash in there. Let me try and find it for you. Taking a while. Can we find it? There we go. This crash sample is really nice. We're going to turn the out down just so it fades out a little bit and this is going to hit every four bars as opposed to the eight bars for the big white noise down lift. Nice. Now we want to add a nice sweep for a track. And we also need to add a fill here. Just remember this bit empty there. Bearing in mind, just for people that don't know, I'm not making an exact replica remake of the David Guetta and Brooks song. I'm just creating drums and my own style to it. So there is a fill I have in mind. I don't know where it is. Uh, I'll have to make a nice edit once I find it. So I'll be back in a second. So I found the drum feel finally took a while but it sounds like this wonderful drum feel it will fit right 
There, perfect. Make this orange. There we go. And I've also, as you can see here, I've got a nice simple sweep. We're going to normalize that. And this will help with a nice transition. So we can either put it there and then let the gated noise take the rest, or we can drag it there and help it. Let's see what uh, both sound like. So this is the first one. Yeah, so we're going to go with at the end of the eighth bar purely because uh, this is gated. So we have a white noise covering it, it, it gets rid of the effect. So we're going to keep that there. And then we're going to drag that at the end as well to help with ending the transition. Now, what to do? Let's see. Let's have a listen to see what we've got. I just remembered I wanted to add a crowd effect. Crowd, everyone knows this trick. It's a really good tip to fill up the mix. You can't really hear what it is filling up, but it's there. It's a crowd. So we're going to have that playing throughout. And we're going to add some sidechain. And then what we're also going to do is make it pan from left to right. So what we're going to do is create an automation clip for two bars of pan. And then next, go to the end point, drag it up to 75%. Curve it, then right click the point, make a pulse, or a wave, wave, yeah. yeah. And then drag the middle point down, and as you can see, it makes it pan from left to right. So we've got the end point at 75%, the first point at 25%, and then it sounds like this. Let's mute the, uh, yeah. So it pans from left to right, so it makes it sound nice and wide in the mix. So we'll just play the effects on the drum, see what we have. Yeah, sounds nice. Now let's see what we have overall with the fill added, the sweep, the crowd, and the panning. Let's see what we have overall. Here we go. Wonderful. So now I'm going to quickly make a nice edit because uh, he also has a nice eight bars at the end where it's a nice bridge to lead to the outro of the track. So it's just the bass line and a filtered melody, but it's also a different release. So I'm going to quickly make an edit. And I am back. As you can see, I've made the outro bit here. If I just play it without the lead, it sounds like this. just the bass I've just taken out the uh, 
gritty layer because you don't really need that high end for the outro part. And I've made the um, alternative lead. And that sounds like this. So that we've got to do is going to add a fab filter simple on. And I'm going to make an automation for the cutoff. I'm going to bring everything down one. Put it on top. I've also noticed uh, in the at the end of each eight bars, I can hear a filter going on in the original. So we're going to quickly do that now. Yeah, we just done that quickly. We can delete that one. And let's see what that sounds like. Just take the uh, bass away here. And that is that. So that's pretty much it. Let's just quickly play it from the top and then we can end the video. So hope you enjoyed and let's see what we have. And that is that. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, smash the like rain, help the channel grow, makes me happy. Also giving the free FLP out uh, when this video reaches 150 likes, uh, the FLP will be, will be uh, given out for free, download it. Take the samples, take the presets, whatever you need. And yeah, uh, I've got a new video coming out on Saturday. It's another 10 minute challenge. Uh, you will find out then what genre it is. If you want me to do other 10 minute challenges, comment down below what genre you'd like me to do and I'll get around to it. Or if you have any other like general tutorial requests or stuff like that, let me know. And yeah, have a nice day.